Hey guys, AJ from GP Factor here, and this is our Enios Grenadier, and this is our new winch mount kit for the Enios Grenadier. We just got back from doing some trail riding at AOA, and we want to talk to you about our new winch mount and show you what we put into it, what went into the whole thing, the package, so you know a little bit more about it. So let's take a look. So a lot of things go into projects like this, and this is a big endeavor for us, and one of the first steps we have to do is get a good vehicle scan that we can use. And once we get a good vehicle scan like that, then we can make it into a solid file that we can start working with. There's multiple revisions of this done for testing, and obviously testing fit and, and factoring in different tolerances for the vehicle, but you get to your final design, which is what you see here, uh, obviously with that custom winch from, from Come Up, and you have a great product that we can really um, refine in, in CAD uh, to make sure everything fits together properly, and obviously uh, this is what, what ultimately uh, the, the creation comes from is the design that's done here in CAD. A lot of people have asked us, um, you know, why did you do a winch kit? Well, obviously we wanted to have a better winch than what was being offered. One that had 65 feet of, of synthetic line came from a company that were, were very readily available to get spare parts from being come up. They're an amazing company to work with. They make amazing winches. And that was the main reason. We wanted to have a winch kit that was uh, much more capable than what was available to us to buy. All right, guys, so we pulled into the shop. It's a little bit hot outside so we can get a closer look at the winch mount. All right, so we took the center shell section off for you because we really wanted you to see the internal bumper piece and mount that we made with the winch. And we really wanted this winch kit to be a very much like a factory part that you weren't changing your bumper at all we're just adding a winch but with adding a winch comes you know some major things that we want to make sure we're designing for strength and for durability and this is the main winch mount piece as you can see here it replaces the factory piece that goes right to the frame the entire thing is welded out of quarter inch steel carbon steel it's all tic tac and then mig welded together for super durable strength you're not going to break it we even built in the crush can so it still serves the same purpose so you're not adjusting any of your factory parts. All you're doing is literally taking the factory pieces out and putting this in. The only modification that you do to this entire kit is this little piece of plastic right down here. We have you trim down a section of this plastic part in the back of the, uh, the grill, and we do that just so that we could actually get 65 feet of line to fit in here with this specific winch. All of your controls and all the electronics are built right into the winch mount. You'll assemble this right in here with pre-cut lines that are to the perfect length. Your on and off button is here. Your wired controller location is right here. Everything is built in right into it. So you're just running your power cable up to the solenoid box behind your headlight and your ground to the ground location for the truck that's right by the radiator down here on the passenger side of the frame. Coming down through the rest of the parts, you've got our fair lead. The fair lead is a, is a custom designed fair lead that we made that's about two and a quarter inches thick. It's all solid built aluminum with a type three hardco anodized finish. And the design of this was designed so that it spaces it out. You're not adjusting, again, anything on your bumper using all your factory parts, but you still get a very durable fair lead for your synthetic line, specifically made just for this kit. So obviously after the winch mount is welded together, or laser cut and formed and welded together, uh, we send it off specifically to have a zinc primer finish put on it and then textured black powder coat. The zinc primer helps with corrosion because it is carbon steel for strength and uh, keeps it from rusting and obviously the black powder coat is to give it that extra durable finish that obviously matches the factory parts and it just fits nice and perfectly under there. Kept branding to a minimum. We wanted to make sure obviously you knew that it was our product but at the same time we wanted it to really feel like it was a part of the factory truck and you're not having to change your bumper out. Uh, we really like the factory bumpers. We didn't affect the intercoolers at all on the sides. Everything still works exactly as it should, as you can see here with, we didn't even take these inner cores off just to show you the internals of, of our mount. So it's gonna come in obviously with your winch, feet forward. You'll have your connections for your motor over here, your clutch over here. You're gonna get your wireless remote, your wired remote, your recovery hook there for the, uh, for the line. So all the controls will come in like this and you're gonna mount these boxes inside of the actual mount itself. And these wires have all been cut to the exact length they need to be to fit in our mount, specifically with this kit. Same with your power cable and your ground cable. So everything has been made custom to fit specifically with the Grenadier and where it needs to go inside there. Obviously this is a custom winch, an exclusive one specifically for this kit, but you're getting 65 feet of line, uh, which is gonna leave you about 55 feet of usable line. 
and uh, it's obviously a huge upgrade from the 30 feet of usable line that comes with the factory winch so it's a really great upgrade so here's your seal slim 12.5 k winch one of the coolest things about the grenadier is the fact that the wiring for the winch if you bought the high auxiliary outputs and the, high, and the auxiliary switches is already pre-set up for you we have it wired directly to the 500 amp box that's already in the truck which is awesome this vehicle has some safety features built into it which is great which is the vehicle has to be in neutral and not in park and make sure your e-brakes on obviously and you're going to turn your auxiliary switches on with the power switch here and there's a 500 amp on ext4 right here and you can hear it pop on and now your winch is ready to operate so you can turn your power switch on in the front of the winch or if you already have your power switch on it'll go on right now but now you're ready to operate your winch that simple so guys, that kind of wraps up in our shop here at GP on the new winch mount. So if you want to learn more about it, please check us out at gpfactor.com. Check it out at okforwheeldrive.com and we'll see you out on the trails.